the best use of the composite wheel is where we use it instead of the fine grinding wheel. The best three working combinations for the composite wheel are number one, coarse black SB wheel and the composite. And when I say coarse, I mean drude coarse. You cannot make the black SB wheel coarse with a gradient stone. Both are of silicon carbide. If you try, you will only glaze the gradient stone, and if you glaze the gradient stone, you will make it unusable. Keep it for your regular SG standard wheel. To make the SB wheel coarse, True it. Use your truing tool. So this is the combination number one. Combination number two. Combination number two is a coarse CBN wheel and the composite wheel. Can you close up? Coarse CBN wheel means grid 160 wheel. This combination is pretty much the same as the combination with the black stone wheel. And the combination number three is also with CBN wheels, but with the extra coarse and medium CBN wheels. So, Can you show this? Combination number three is for abused and very dull knives. We start on the extra coarse CBN wheel grid 80. Then we change to the medium CBN wheel grid 400 and finish on the composite wheel. The combinations number one and two that include only one grinding wheel are the fastest. Coarse stone wheel and composite wheel or coarse CBN wheel and composite wheel. Why the black SB wheel and not the standard gray SG wheel? The black SB wheel is of silicon carbide. The gray SG wheel is of aluminum oxide. Generally, the black SB wheel is preferred by sharpeners to the standard SG wheel because it cuts hard steels better, it is denser and lasts for longer. But it has its limitations. The black SB wheel cannot be graded as fine as the SG wheel. In other words, we can grade the SG wheel to grid 1000, but the SB wheel, the black wheel, will take only grid 600, not finer. Therefore, the SB wheel is used chiefly coarse for shaping the bevels. You still need another finer wheel to set the edge apex. So, the gray SG wheel is more universal because it can be graded fine, while the black SB wheel performs better as a coarse wheel. And that is why I have it here. You knew about it, didn't you? Hey? But of course, if the SG wheel is the only wheel you already have, use it. To keep the video short, I cannot show you all the sharpening combinations in actual sharpening. Let us model a situation when you are after fast sharpening and time is important. This is the combination number one or two. With the composite wheel applied instead of the fine grinding wheel, you can sharpen faster. In a situation like this, I will be using a single grinding wheel. 
either the Atomic Black SB wheel, true course, or the CBN wheel grid 160, and the composite Honey wheel. Let's do it now, step by step. For the sake of the time efficiency, we grind the bevels and set the edge apex on the same course wheel. Next, deburr on the atomic composite wheel. Moisten the wheel, but go easy. Water should not be dripping off the composite wheel. Enough how with the leather wheel, the rule is not to over oil it. With the composite wheel, do not over moisten. Alternate the sides of the blade with each pass. Do as many passes as needed till the burr is no longer visible to the unaided eye and you cannot feel it by brushing your finger across the edge. Typically it takes 3-4 passes each side to remove the burr. Now let's check the sharpness. The 
this reading tells us that there is still a residual burr on the apex, because the apex clean of any burr would measure under 100 pes. I know, I know, some would be very happy with this edge, it is sharp and slice with the paper. Many would have stopped here. But to me this edge is no good, because I see indicators that there are still some remnants of the burr on its apex. And because of this micro burr, this sharpness will be short-lived. We need an extra finishing clean-up step to clean the edge of the remnants of the burr. True that, bro. Let us see what is the best edge that we can get in sharpening like this by simply adding one extra deburring step. To clean the edge properly, we will use a second leather wheel with chromium oxide. This is the pure chromium oxide. To mix the chromium oxide into paste, you can use the Tomek oil that comes with the leather wheel. Note that the diameter of the composite and the leather honing wheel is not the same. The composite wheel diameter is 218 mm, while the leather wheel is 215 mm. Because of this difference, we need to adjust the support to continue honing at the correct and the same edge angle by lowering the support by 1.7 mm. I know that the difference in the radius between the two wheels is 1.5 mm, but by formulas for honing on the wheel, our software tells us that the difference must be 1.7 mm. The adjustment equals to 7 digits on the micro-adjust. Look at the micro-adjust. One micro-adjust digit changes height of the universal support by 0.25 millimeters. It is actually in the Tomek handbook, page 139. The micro-adjust has six digits. One full revolution of the micro-adjust, six digits, moves the universal support by 1.5 millimeters. To adjust the universal support height from the composite wheel to the leather wheel, we need to lower it by one full revolution of the micro-adjust and one digit. Do Three slow passes each side.
the chromium oxide particles average a quarter of micron in size and honing at the correct edge angle allows us to clean the micro burr, not rounding the edge. Let's measure the sharpness now. Note the sharpness reading. This sharpness is similar to the sharpness we get by honing with the atomic honing compound after a fine grinding wheel. Lest we forget that we set the edge of the coarse grinding wheel. The sharpness score of 72 tells us that there is no residual left on the edge and the apex is clean. Actually, it is near razor sharp. Then we sharpened the same knives using Tomek Diamond Extra fine grit 1200 wheel. The idea was to compare the edges that we get with the composite wheel used after a coarse wheel versus the extra fine grinding wheel. To keep the video short, I cannot show you all the sharpenings we've done. Sorry, Annette. We know he was your favorite and everything. Let us jump to the results. What do these numbers tell us? In the best sharpness scale, the lower is the number, the sharper the edge. As we can see, the composite wheel brings sharpness to the same level after the coarse wheel as it does after the extra fine grinding wheel. Used together with the coarse grinding wheel, the composite wheel effectively replaces both the fine grinding wheel and the atomic honing compound. Yet the composite wheel does not deburr cleanly. And after the composite wheel the edge is rougher than after the atomic honing compound. As we can tell by the last column in the table, for better sharpness and edge retention, extra stropping is recommended after the composite wheel. As a bare minimum, finish on a hanging leather strop. I see the composite wheel used in a commercial sharpening of common knives because it allows to quickly remove the burr after a coarse grinding wheel. Works fast and with a good end result. Thank you.